the best baseball weather tonight. If my ears uh, yeah. weren't yeah. failing me, thunder. I think I heard a little boomer outside of our yeah. station just a moment ago. We do have some thunder and lightning out there right now, and you're looking at downtown Greensboro where we had a little bit of sunshine earlier, but now the skies are turning gray as we do have some rain that is moving into Guilford County. Also some wet weather over Forsyth County right now. Now the grasshoppers are not playing tonight, but they'll be at home tomorrow night and we have less of a chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, but we still may see a few Friday storms. Isolated strong to severe storms are still possible this evening in our area. There's also the threat for flash flooding, especially in the mountains where we're under a flash flood watch. Now at seven o'clock tomorrow night, temperatures are going to be steamy upper 80s on the ball field. And yes, there is at least a slight chance for an isolated storm early tomorrow evening. And then we're looking at mostly cloudy skies and muggy air for your Friday night. High temperature this afternoon, 90 degrees. It's hot, it's humid. We've got 94 in Burlington, 89 in Asheboro, and where you see the 70s, that's where we've already had rain. So it's just sticky because 70s over 70s, temperature in dew point is really humid. And we're going to see that continuing through tonight and into the weekend. So dew points are way up there. And that heat index value is also way up there as a result in the mid to upper 90s. Those are the feels like temperatures. We're anticipating more of the same tomorrow afternoon. As for storms, you can see one line of rain with a couple of embedded thunderstorms that's pushing through the triad right now. The most intense one that we've got is over southern Rockingham County, but even right now it is below severe limits. That flash flood watch does include Carroll County, Allegheny County, Grayson counties until 8 o'clock tonight. We have had some rainfall totals in more than an inch in some of those communities. Also with that line of storms that's pushing into the triad over Yakin County and Stokes County, we've seen some one inch totals too. So you can get some very heavy rains in a short amount of time. No problem with flooding just yet across the triad. Lots of lightning west of Reedsville, south and east of Madison and Mayaday and north of the lakes in Greensboro. If you hear the thunder, you need to get off of the water and get indoors. You can see that storm is moving to the east. So there's going to be some heavy rain with that. We also have a batch of heavy rain in the western part of Forsyth County, just west of downtown Winston-Salem up toward Poff Town and Rural Hall. That is also moving east. Rain along I-40 from Moxville up to Clements. A thunderstorm right now over High Rock Lake with heavy rain. That is moving to the northeast, and we're going to keep a close eye on these that are kind of building in the heat and humidity for Randolph, Guilford, and Alamance County over the coming hours. We do have that chance with a marginal risk that we could see some severe storms. So the threats, of course, would be heavy rain flooding as well as damaging wind. And you can see that area here moving into tomorrow as a front that is out over Kentucky and Tennessee moves our way. There will be a chance still for some isolated strong to severe storms, more so on our southern communities. And and then points east down toward Raleigh and Wilmington. But we do have a rain chance in still for Friday, but it is mostly for the southern triad. You look at the hour by hour forecast by tomorrow morning. Things are quiet, but it is muggy. We're quiet through lunchtime and in the afternoon we'll start to see at least a few pop up storms and those look to be again over the southern triad. So a 30% chance with a high of 90 feels like temperatures mid to upper 90s for the foothills 87 tomorrow afternoon, a mix of clouds and sun. We're also looking at temperatures that are going to be warm in the mountains. This of course is Barry. They do have hurricane warnings out right now for Louisiana as well as tropical storm warnings. They're anticipating storm surges there anywhere between two to six feet and the track has this potentially becoming a hurricane between Friday and Saturday as it turns northward there into Louisiana. We'll keep you up to date on that. Here is your seven day forecast. We have got heat and drier skies starting on Saturday.